I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. The question here is, a car dealership has been selling new cars at $600 over the factory price. Sales have been averaging 80 cars per month. The marketing manager has determined that for every $10 increase in price, there will be one less car sold each month. What should the new markup be in order to maximize the income? Right. So that's the question for you. So what we're given here is that for dollar six hundred markup, so if if the markup is six hundred dollars, average number of cars sold. So number of cars sold is eighty. Right. So if that is the cost, let me write here. If we have the cost or selling price with markup of this much, then the number of cars is 80. And in that case, what is the income? So income will be product of these two, right? So income will be 600 times 80, correct? That is what the income is going to be. Now it says, the marketing manager has determined that for every $10 increase in price, there will be one less car sold. That is to say, if we increase this price from 600 to plus 10, the number of cars sold will be 80 minus 1. Do you see that? That is how it is going to progress. So for every $10 increase, so if I increase another $10, that is to say, I make it 600 plus 2 times $10, right? In that case, number of cars will be 80 minus 2 times 1, right? And if I continue this process, and we don't know how many $10 can we increase, well, any number. So we could write this as 600 plus N times $10. Is it okay? In that case, the number of cars sold will be 20 minus n times 1. Perfect. Now, if that is the case, what is the income? Income is product of these two, right? So, the income will be 600 plus 10n, 10n times 80 minus n. Is that okay? So, that becomes the income. So this is a general equation where we're trying to write in terms of the number of $10 increased. You get an idea, right? So we don't know how much $10 increase will actually increase the profit or maximize the profit. We don't know yet. But that kind of give us an idea that this when multiplied 10 n and minus n will give us minus n square. And that means that we are looking for a parabola, right? So if that is the income, we are looking for a parabola, which is kind of like this, right? Because this, when multiplied, will give you n square. Do you get an idea? Right. So, so if that is the parabola, which gives you income, right? Which gives you income. And somewhere, we don't know where, if uh, where the zero is, right? If I write n as zero, I mean no increase, then we know that uh, the that is the profit, this product, right? So let's say this kind of. So you can imagine this income to be represented like this, where this is the income. Is it okay? I hope you're getting it. So. So the total amount, we can get a maximum. We don't know by how much increase in, in the price, correct? So that is the number of Ns which we can put here. So here we have N, number of $10 which we can increase to maximize the price. That's the situation. But we know one thing that we have two zeros here. One zero is this one which is at which point let's find this out so i'm showing you a shortcut method to solve this question 
we can do another way also so i left this space for alternate method okay i hope you love this one so the zero from here will be at n equals to we can find like this 600 plus 10n equals to zero 10n equals to minus 600 n equals to minus 600 divided by 10 which is minus 60 is it okay so that means one of the zeros here is at this point which is minus 60 i mean minus 60 okay how about the other one the other one is when this is zero that is it is equals to 80 correct so we have one zero for minus 60 the other one is at 80 correct other one we get from the second factor which is 80 minus n so that is equal to 0 for n equals to 80 right so these are the two zeros now then where should the maximum be it will be at the axis of symmetry the midway between them so we have to find the axis of symmetry so whenever you are given quadratic equation factored form you could use axis of symmetry so which is at midway that is to say average of these two is it okay so what we can do is zero from here is at minus 60 zero from there is at plus 80 we can add them up and divide by 2 so that gives us the value of n for axis of symmetry right this is indeed equals to 20 divided by 20 or just 10 so this happens to be at 10 correct so now if you see if i place n as 10 i get maximum income have we solved the question let's look into it what should the new marker be in order to maximize the income so this is the markup cost this is the markup right earlier it was 600 the new one should be this is the new one 600 plus 10 n so new markup should be equals to 600 plus 10 times 10 which is 700 do you see that 600 plus 10 times 10 is 100 which is 700 dollars correct so that is our answer do you get an idea right so, so that's a neat way of solving this particular question right so that's one way of doing it so anyway let me write down the answer here so answer is new markup is dollar 700 so instead of 600 we sell it for 700 we really make maximum income correct okay so i hope that part is clear to you now let me go through the standard method which most of the students adopt and that is once they get this income so we'll say income equals to product of these two so they multiply it say 600 plus 10n times 80 minus n right so then they just multiply this so 8 times 6 is 48 and then three zeros plus um, let me do with this now 80 800n okay and then we'll multiply by minus n so minus 600 n and then we get minus 10 n square right? so that becomes a quadratic equation for income now in this quadratic equation we can combine these two terms we we get minus 10 n square minus and this plus we get plus 200 n and we get 48,000 correct so that becomes quadratic equation now in this quadratic equation you can do completing the squares you can do uh, different partial this one method called partial factory right or you could use a simple formula which is uh, maximum will be at I'm teaching you another method right minus b by 2a this is another method right so b value is 200 so we'll write minus of 200 divide by 2 times a is minus 10 
right so minus 200 divided by minus 20 you get it so you get minus 200 divided by minus 20 and you again get 10 the value of n this is okay this is the value of n so you get again value of n which you can substitute and find so that is another method which is a shortcut method so i have shown you two shortcut methods in this you could always use the well known uh, completing the squares method to get the maximum i hope you understand correct but i prefer the basic concept factoring and getting the answer i hope you appreciate how to derive the equation for income understanding increases of ten dollars which results into decrease in number of sales still income increases you can multiply each you will see that income actually increases up to when n is 10 but after that it starts decreasing right so that is how it works i'm anil kumar and i hope this concept helps you to understand you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best